We begin with an update tonight to a horrifying story. Coventry police are shedding more light on how a man allegedly kidnapped and strangled an 80 year old woman in an effort to steal her car. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. Police say Stephen Henning wanted the car so he could drive to Ohio and kill his girlfriend. The 80 year old woman involved survived and is recovering. This wild case spans several communities and today Sheena Lerchuto spoke to the lead detective in the case. She joins us now live with more on what we've learned. Sheena. Well, police keep stressing the two people involved in this case did not know each other at all before this, but the suspect allegedly saw the 80 year old woman as an easy target as he was actively looking for a victim. An 80 year old Coventry woman becomes the victim of what police are calling a random and unthinkable act. And she has sustained uh, serious, but currently does not appear to be life threatening injuries. These are the charges from three 53 year old Stephen Henning is facing charges in multiple communities accused of stealing a car in Ohio and Burrowville, then kidnapping a woman from her home in Coventry on Saturday with intentions of burying her dead body in Smithfield. Police say the two connected at a fast food restaurant in Coventry where detectives say Henning found out the woman lives alone. What Henning didn't account for was that the woman was still alive when he left in the woods. I spoke with her personally as well as a couple of our other detectives spoke with her again. Um, she has relayed to us that she believes that we are uh, angels that were able to help her. Mm -hmm. Police say Henning had intentions of taking the woman's car and driving it to Ohio to murder his girlfriend. He got the car, but the Coventry woman was able to get help and gets police involved. Smithfield police responded back to that area where she was found or where she had come out of the woods from. And as they're looking for some more evidence, the suspect with that victim's vehicle returns to the scene. Henning leads Smithfield police on a chase, but is ultimately arrested in Providence on Sunday. He appeared before a judge Monday and remains held without bail as police in multiple communities continue investigating. And detectives in this case say they felt it was important to let the public aware, let them know what exactly happened here. Meanwhile, multiple agencies say they're pleased with how quickly they were able to arrest Henning. Reporting live in Coventry tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News. Learning more from police about the man accused of kidnapping an 80 year old Coventry woman, strangling her and leaving her to die in the woods of Smithfield. Police say the suspect Stephen Henning and the victim had no connection. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo has been tracking the story since his arraignment yesterday and tells us what she's learned today. Authorities say this all starts in Ohio before the suspect Stephen Henning is accused of committing several different crimes in different Rhode Island communities. In Coventry, the suspect is accused of seeking out a victim and then kidnapping an elderly woman at her own home. An 80 year old woman finds herself at the center of a horrifying crime, strangled and left to die in the woods. This was a complete random and unthinkable act with zero links between the suspect and the victim. Unbeknownst to her, it starts at the center of New England in town on Saturday when she and the suspect, Stephen Henning, have a conversation. For him, authorities say that was enough to move forward with a plan to murder the woman and steal her car so he can drive it back to Ohio without being sought out by police. Once in Ohio, authorities say he had plans to murder his girlfriend. He was able to obtain information from this elderly woman that she was living alone currently. Henning is accused of forcing himself into her home, strangling the elderly woman and putting her in the trunk of her own car, which he steals. Authorities say his plan was to bury the Coventry woman's body in Smithfield, but to his surprise, when he came back the next day with a shovel, the woman was gone and police were there. The suspect leads authorities on a chase and is ultimately arrested in Providence on Sunday. It was something that our police department in conjunction with Providence Police and Smithfield were able Able to close very quickly. This person is at the ACI and he will not be coming out anytime soon. However, we do want to make sure that people are aware of it. Uh, that way, sometimes awareness is the best way to spread that safety. 
and detectives here in Coventry say they recently spoke to the victim. We're told her injuries are serious. She was significantly injured, but right now she is stable at a local hospital and her injuries do not appear to be life threatening. Reporting in Coventry, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.